Hi, Carol here, and welcome to my craft room. First, I want to just say thank you to Shonda. She is a YouTube follower and an absolute wonderful crafter. She's from Las Vegas, Nevada, and on YouTube, she's Slim Cards. And I got a beautiful, just now, just came from the mailbox up the road, and I got this beautiful birthday card. Is this not adorable? Look at the sparkles. It's gorgeous, Shonda, and it opens up to be a window card. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. And it came in this beautiful matching polka dot envelope. I was so taken by surprise. How thoughtful, Shonda. Thank you. This is a homemade doily and it has all of this then you turn it over look at the beautiful papers and she wrote on the tag on the back where she stamped a beautiful sentiment thank you Shonda it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous how thoughtful thank you very much I will put this in my craft room I want to make sure I give a shout out and a thank you so that is Shonda on slim cards on YouTube and I will been down for three days with another one of my violent migraines. The barometric pressure is getting very hot here in our area. And I was going, uh, looking at some videos on YouTube and I found this, this little cute, um, it's kind of like a little file folder type for, I needed something for flavored tea bags to put it in and this was perfect and I found it on Linda Parker's uh, site. So thank you Linda for the inspiration. So what you're going to need to do this and I'll take it one step at a time is a sheet of cardstock. Now Linda had stamped all over hers with matching uh, paper and matching ink but I found this Tim Holtz 12 by 12 paper I'm trying to use up my products that I have here and this is embossed with the beautiful musical notes as you can see so when this folds up it's going to be like this this box will look like this and then I'll show you what the inside will be like so let's get the measurements out here you need a sheet of paper so 12 by you know 12 inches long but you're going to cut it down here at 11 and 5 eighths and it's by three and one eighth here on the measurement, okay? Three and one eighth across by 11 and five eighths, okay? So 11 five eighths by three and one eighth. Then you're going to take your score tool, and I couldn't find mine that was in the board here, but because I buy two of almost everything, I had it hand, I had another one handy. I just took it out of the little package, and that was exciting. I love it when I do that because then you're not I'm making three of these by the way yes if you're going to do one you might as well do a few more because that's how many I need I need three little gift boxes so you're going to take this paper on the 11th and 5 8th and you're going to score it at one and a half three inches six and five eighths eight and one eighth and you're finished and that gives you the outside, okay? Right like that. So you're going to set this aside. And then you're going to cut two pieces that are three and five eighths by four and a half, two sheets. And we're going to score that. Now you're going to put it in your scoreboard. And the reason I wanted to show you this is instead of getting all the measurements going across here, which I can give you, let me get my sheet out here. I can give you that. You're going to score it at three eighths, three quarters, one and one eighth, one and a half, one and seven eighths, two and a quarter, two and five eighths, three inches, three and three eighths, three and three quarter, and four and one eighth. Now, if you want to back this video up and do it that way, that's the way I did it. But then when I set it down and I saw this, you're going to go at, you're going to count one on your scoreboard if it's in eighths. So this scoreboard and the Martha Stewart's are, are scored in eighths. Their, um, their increment is in eighths. So you want to take three eighths. I use the small end. 
Okay, so you had three eighths. And then you just count over three. One, two, three. Score again. One, two, whoop, one, two, three. Score again. So each each section is three eighths of an inch. So one, two, three. Score. See? Keep going. Hit those little pockets there and count over three every time. This was so easy, especially when I'm doing three of them, which means, you know, that's six of these you're scoring. And then one, two, three. And there you have it. Then you're going to do two of them right here and score it that way. I have them already ready. And you're going to do an accordion fold, a mountain fold, a valley mountain fold like this. Okay, so let's get rid of, I don't think we need this for anything else. So we can set that aside. And then you're going to accordion fold both of these. So have your bone, your Teflon bone folder. I love this Teflon because it doesn't show any. And just, I like to go in between them. Instead of doing it all at once, you're going to fold this up like so. Okay. And this is the cutest little thing. There we are. Okay. So, then you're going to take your folder and I just like to go inside these creases like that hope you can see this okay then you're going to take two of these like this you have two of them ready right and you isn't this amazing I have all this prepared for you <laughs> and then you're going to have it so that your mountain folds are on top you're not going to have it like this where the valleys are in here you're going to turn it over like this and this sheet let me do this one and this sheet you will have the bottom edge let me zoom in here for you you will have this bottom edge right here all the mountains will be looking at you like this. And then you're going to take score tape. I took, uh, this is 1 8 inch score tape. And you're going to put them on the top part of your mountain fold. Right there. Okay. And you're going to go across all of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Like that. And then you're going to go across and do the same thing here. And then... You have five pieces of paper right here. One, two, three, four, five. And I did this in just craft to match my other one here. And I just want to give you the measurements of these. Five pieces will be three inches by three and five eighths. So five of them at three inches by three and five eighths. And the reason why you have this is you're going to take one of them this is going to make your pocket folds like this. You're going to take one, take off your double-sided tape like this, and then take your sheet like so and butt it up against there and go like that. Then you can take your bone folder and make a nice crease going across there. Okay, so that's what you have. All right, I'll do another one for you. You're going to take one off, like so, and take this piece, butt it up, even. That's why it's important to get the measurements down. And go like that, then take your bone folder and make a nice crease there. And you're going to continue to do that. But then you're going to take this piece here and you're going to butt it up against here like that. Hopefully you can see this. So you have, let's see, let's go, which side did we do this on? Let's do it like this side. So you're going to have 
I'm just trying to see which side I need to do this on. This one, I, yes, and then that's right. So you're going to lay this out just like you did the other one, where your mountains are looking at you like this with your tape on it, right? Can you see that? And then you're going to take the first piece that you just laid down on this one. See how they're like this? And we laid this down and we folded it. We laid this down and folded it. You're going to take this first one and you're going to butt it up against the other page after you take this off. And this is what's going to make your little wee pockets. Okay? So take this, put it up against there nicely. Like so. Take your bone folder. Let's do another one. Then you're going to take this one oh, this way. Like that. And it becomes, it, it's very easy once you're looking at it. It's not hard at all to figure it out. You can just back the video up and see what I need. So once you get these all done, let me just keep going here. You're going to end up with it looking like this. Okay, so if you'd like me to do a few more here, I can do that for you. So you're going to take this flat and line it up with your double-sided tape, like so. Isn't this awesome? So when you get done, grab another one. This is that Walmart tape I always talk about. Okay. There we go. And grab another piece. So on each one, just show you how I get this done. I just thought it was so cute. Yeah. So when you get finished here, like this, okay, stop that. Yikes. You only do that to one side. <laughs> I'm not stopping the video. Take this one off. Just a minute. I knew something was kind of wrong. And you know what? I don't mind doing this. Oh my. Take this one off very gently. There we go. That's where I made my mistake. I'm going to put another sheet of this. Oh, I was thinking to myself, why do you cut five of them and then you're putting ten of them on there? That's not cool. <laughs> there. I don't mind showing you. Okay, then you go to the other side like this and you take this five of them and you're going to join them up. Okay, so you're going to put this down and go like that. Now that makes more sense, doesn't it? Then you're going to take this one. Whew, that would have been terrible. And you're going to lay it down. We can see this. You can lay it on the other side. That's where my mistake was. And fold it down like so. Take the next one off. Isn't that funny? I was putting five on each side. Only put five on the one side and then from that you're going to lie each one of these down to get your pocket so to speak. And this would be awesome to do a large one. If you wanted to do recipe cards it'd be totally wonderful. Okay. I did this whole one with you. I have one all prepared here. But I haven't done it yet. This is my first try. I just prepared all of it so that you didn't have to watch me do it all. So I was learning at the same time as you. So there you have it. So you're going to have these two sitting here. See that? And there's your pockets. Eh, eh, eh. Your accordion pockets, beautiful. And you have these flaps on each side. Isn't that totally awesome? And that's what I did here. So I had one uh, more to put in. 
So why don't we do that? Just so you can see it here. And lay that down. And getting it nice and straight is important. There we go. So you know there's just five of them. One goes on one side and the other one folds down so you get those nice uh, pockets in there, accordion pockets. There we go. Then lay it out nicely. Put it down. Take your bone folder. In this case, this wonderful Teflon bone folder. And this is what you're going to have. There. Look at that. One there. And I have this one. And I have one more to make. And you can slide. I'm going to put different flavored teas in here. And I think it'll be awesome. So let's take one of them that one there and let's take one of our folded cards and you're going to put your tape your 1 8 inch tape you're going to put it on here like so you're actually going to want to put it towards the uh, outside edge that one I did the inside edge. Let's see how that works. Turn it over. You're going to want it on the outside, right? Doesn't matter on the inside. Just get you some nice double sided tape. I need to look at this like that. Okay. And I like this uh, Walmart tape because I like my sequin tape. But at two dollars a roll, I think it's twenty-seven yards on a roll for two bucks. That's awesome. Okay, so we have that. We have our lid. Let's take this off the one side. This is the worst part of it. How much time am I working on here? I want to thank everybody, all my subscribers. I'm one short on my blog of having a hundred. That's awesome. Thank you, everybody. And um, I didn't even look on, I know I'm probably around 1300 on my YouTube, which is fabulous. Okay, so I have the both sides, I have the double-sided tape taken off. And we're going to line it up in here, in the center part. Now I'm doing this along with you. I haven't done one yet, but this is how it looked on the video. So if we take this and we, let me see, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to make sure I do this right. So when this closes up, there's go you're going to take the front panel. That makes more sense. So lie this down on the front. This is the big piece, right? This has a half inch, half inch on here. Let me, maybe it's better if I just zoom out a bit. There, that's good, right? So on the wide part, you're going to put this down. I'll have no sticky left if I keep playing around with it here. So you have that part and that part. Let's see if that's stuck. Lift it up here. I have to move it up. There you go. Go underneath there, I guess, to put it out. And then fold this and bring this up like this. You're going to have to fold on the bottom, right? You're going to have this little half inch. And then this is going to get set there. Like so. I want to make sure I get this even and this one even. Okay, like that. And look at that. You can take your bone folder, go on each side. This is totally awesome. Like that. 
and there you have it. Isn't that great? Then you're going to flip. Whoop. It would be great if it was even. There we go. Make sure that that's even on each side. Okay. There we go. And then you're going to have this part coming down like this. Once it stretches itself out like that. And look at this. You're going to put a magnet. I put my... You can do it this way where you punch out half inch to cover the magnets. But I think... Let's see. Yes, they cover it perfectly. So a half inch punch. That's what Linda did on hers. I haven't even opened these up yet. But let's um, put this... I might cover one magnet with this bird. So let's grab one of these magnets out. And isn't that a quick project? Okay, I'm going to need two. There we go. Is that the way it works like that? Yes. So let's take the backing off of this. And you're going to want to put it underneath here. Just kind of line it up. I think I'm going to glue it, actually. Okay, let me get this right. A little bit of glue. Kind of put it on the middle. Like so. Then you can take... I took a little Stampin' Up. I think it's Stampin' Up. No, it's EK Success Half Inch Punch. And I punched out some little circles. And you can glue it right over top of this so you don't see it. Like so. Do you want to do it this way? And then on here, on the actual box, you just take another one, the one that attaches like that. Okay, like this. And keep it on there. Like so. It's wanting to slide in the opposite direction. Close it to where you want it, which in my case would be right there. Press it so you have it down here like that. Take another circle. Put some glue on here. Cover it. So you would just cut it out to like that and it will... These actually are not as sticky, or they're not as... These aren't as um, magnetized as my... Let's see if I did something wrong there. Yeah, see they're not... They do magnetize, they're just not as... See, I opted to get something inexpensive. You don't want to do that. Who's my good... But anyway, I will change my magnets up because these ones here are not strong enough. To, oh, look at it almost held that. There you go. Maybe I'll, with the weight of this bird on here might help. Let's try that. There we are. And once I work this in, just a second. There we go. We shall see. Anyway, I thought this is cutesy, and if you get the right magnets, I might try this one. This one looks, these are my good ones. They're really, really heavy duty. You can see the difference, actually, if I show you one of these. That's good to know. These flat ones compared to these small ones. You can see the metal on here where this looks like just like the metal um, strips that you buy, the magnet strips. So um, I'm going to have to switch these magnets up. But isn't that cute? Look at this. And quickly you've made, I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five, six 
different tea bags in here. And you can, like when you open it up, you can put some paper here to cover it. And, oh, no, it will not hold it. You know what I'm going to do? Oh, it is there. I'm going to add a maybe up farther I'm going to add one of my heavy duty magnets on there so it is important you get what you pay for and that is so true so there you have it my friends isn't that an awesome awesome um, project to do I think it's great and uh, yeah look at that as I'm looking at it another thing you could do is I took out some flowers and you could put flowers on there. I mean, you could... I took these out as well. I was thinking I could put like a hello on there. All kinds of uh, different ideas. Uh, doily. Uh, just nice. I'm going to sponge the edges. I think that'll make a huge difference. And I have... Let's try that just for a second. And I think doing the corner rounder too would help it look nice on the edges. So let's do that. Yeah, that looks good. Doesn't that look better on there? I think that's super cool. And That's awesome. I've got to get it. I think I'll put a little dot on there for the eye. Once I put my own magnets on there, it'll be awesome. Like that. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me. I am going to... Look how sweet that looks. I am going to go make the other ones and... If you have any questions, just email me. I think it's super duper. I wish that would stick though. Okay, you can't have, oh, there we go. You can't have everything, right? Doesn't that look cute? Yes. And you go buy yourself 18 tea bags and you'll be able to do three of them like I'm doing. And I'll fancy this all up. Thank you for joining me and give this a try. I think it's a nice little gift. Have a blessed day.